Какой-то модуль там нужен. Подожди, дай, дай, дай. Вот сюда, да? Вот, вот, вот сюда, в эту ямочку. Uh -huh. Вот, вот, вот. Окей. Uh -huh. okay. First of all, I would like to thank organizers for inviting me to present our new work at this workshop. Uh, in fact, uh, we completed this work just before this workshop and not all which is done and written in this uh, archive version is presented still <laughs> in uh, our transparencies but i will try to show the main points and this is the archive pa uh, the paper is a, a, a archive appeared on monday and also in part the, this work was done with victor Malakayev. And also, in part, uh, this uh, talk is based on all, uh, the results, already published results in GHEB this year. Uh, the title is just a little bit intriguing. Uh, of course, uh, uh, I mean that this, uh, I will speak on not exact results, but about our proposal on representations of the Renalization group invariant quantities in perturbative QCD through powers of the conformal uh, anomaly. What we are calling conformal anomaly? Of course, we are calling the we are calling the conformal anomaly the factor beta alpha s divided by alpha s then in the massless uh, QCD. Why just uh, this? I will try to. Uh, um, if, uh, title uh, this fact appeared in the title i will explain later on okay um, uh, first of all i will remind uh, we will remind the uh, some points on the so-called cbk relations uh, cbk relation um, uh, then also remind on the uh, facts that there do exist the variant of the CBK relation uh, expansion in, uh, where um, uh, the exp uh, it is uh, um, we expanding in powers of the conformal on, on the factor beta alpha s divided by alpha s, uh, and then also speak about the proposal and studies of the same uh, feature of the existence of the same feature for the D function and Bjorken polarized some rule. Uh, which are realization group invariant quantities and are defined in the Euclidean region. We know that D function is the characteristic of the plus e minus annihilation, and Jochen polarized sum rule is the characteristic of the uh, deep inelastic um, uh, uh, lepton, uh, polarized deep inelastic lepton nucleon scattering. Uh, then I will also mention a few uh, say represent the results for the static potential which is also interesting feature because uh, quantity because it is uh, calculated analytically up to higher order level um, in the min, uh, in the in the mass like schemes and it is used in also in the, the terminology for study in heavy quark effect theory and so on and also not mentioned here I will try to show that uh, uh, there do exist the variant of the uh, um, so-called uh, CBK relation, maybe the variant. When we are comparing the results for the static potential with the analytical results for the Caspar Namelis dimension, uh, which was proposed a long time ago by uh, uh, um, Radushkin and Karchemsky, and is calculated now in QCD up to higher order levels, and also is calculated uh, in M equal to four superior Mills theory. And also uh, say a few words about unpolarized Bjorken sum rule uh, with emphasizes on the uh, proposed by Mikhail Bitter expansion. So um, then, uh, that is uh, here i'm ju just defining d function and uh, the expansion and uh, the coefficient function for the bjorken polarized sum rule it is calculated analytically 
due to the attempts of uh, uh, Chetirkin and others up to alpha S fourth level uh, and also just present two coefficients for the beta function show that uh, these coefficients do depend on the um, Casimir operators. Uh, Casimir operator uh, in adjoint and fundamental representation uh, uh, in Dinkin index TF and on the number of flavors NF. And of course, we know the results. We are, will be interested in fact in uh, uh, the analytical expressions for the D in the MS bar scheme for the D2, D3, uh, D4, uh, which do depend on the mono, uh, on the monomials, monomials, monomials of these uh, uh, color factors. Um, uh, they are known analytically. And uh, let us have a oh, next point. Um, what is the CBK relation? <laughs> CBK relation uh, is the, in fact, it was uh, the effect, the first work, first important step in this direction was done by Tuer. Unfortunately, he just is not uh, with us, but uh, when we were speaking with him, he called, he liked his, this work very much and told him that this is his best work, which is uh, he have done in his life. In fact, uh, he was considering in 1972, in the port pattern model, the AVV triangle diagram, and using the conformal transformations and uh, also um, uh, the operator product expansion, managed to show that in the leading order, in the leading order, uh, uh, the product of the D function and the Gherkin sum rule are proportional to the amplitude to, uh, of the P gamma gamma decay process with the factor three or and C, we know that this was the uh, three is the number of colors. So uh, in some sense, this was one of the interesting confirmations and demonstrations that uh, quarks should have three colors. Uh, then, uh, uh, in 1993, uh, then for a long time, the question what will happen later on uh, was not known. It is interesting that when we were calculating with uh, Chizirkin and Kachov uh, uh, D function uh, and also the results for the Bjorken polarized sum rule became known, people were asking us, okay, have a look. Uh, the first uh, 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 coefficient D1 coefficient is plus uh, um, uh, um, CF3 divided by 4 alpha S pi or plus alpha S pi. And the coefficient, the first coefficient for the Bjorken unpolarized uh, polarized sum of minus alpha S pi. If you multiply, uh, 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 what is the reason that the, uh, the fact that coefficients are the same, but different. The answer uh, at this moment uh, was, we do not know. This is the accident, but this is not the accident because they are canceling each other in the product uh, just to existence of the property of the conformal symmetry. Uh, because in the triangle diagram, AVV triangle diagram. There will be simple one gluon exchange. It corresponds to one gluon exchange diagram in the AVV triangle diagram. Uh, and uh, after applying operator product expansion, uh, these coefficients uh, do, uh, uh, do cancel each other. Then uh, in the higher order levels, and it was discovered, it was observed uh, 1993 and MS life schemes uh, with David Bro uh, uh, with David Brotus, the interesting feature appeared. The conformal symmetry breaking factor or the two loop expression of the beta function is appearing as the factorized part. Uh, and in fact, um, it was it is possible in some sense 
maybe to understand in what is what, why intuitive is happening because it is possible to draw the diagrams in the triangle uh, uh, um, in the AVV triangle diagrams uh, uh, in QED uh, related to the beta function QED diagram, uh, but uh, it will, the people were doubting that it may be true in all orders of the perturbation theory. Um, in 1997, we discussed this fact with Rod Kruger. And he presented some uh, attempt or proof in the X space on the validity of this, uh, um, of the factorization of the beta function in the gauge invariant scheme, but without telling what is this scheme, what are the renormalization uh, 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 in his old fashioned ma uh, manner. Uh, 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 some uh, some scientists think that this is not yet the proof, but the uh, still strong uh, indication uh, uh, that the CBK relation may be valid in all orders of the th perturbation theory. But uh, the confirmation of this fact appeared in uh, uh, 2010 when Baikov, Chitirk, and Kuhn uh, have shown that at the uh, Free loop level beta function at the next uh, order. Three, uh, uh, the uh, free loop beta function is also factorized, um, and there is no chance. Uh, uh, and it is interesting because at the free loop level, the independence of the beta function is appearing. The first two coefficients beta no uh, 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 the two loop level scheme, the scheme is not coming into game. Uh, and then the question also appeared that. If this uh, feature is really true and the uh, cruiser proof is valid, and which was also demonstrated by Brown, Kristinchenko, and Muller uh, in he, their review, uh, what will happen in the gauge dependent uh, uh, um, schemes? And in our paper with uh, Mokayedov and Garkusha, we have shown that. If this is true, really, in all orders of the perturbation theory, in their mass-like schemes, in the gauge, uh, uh, in the gauge, uh, uh, the, in the gauge independent schemes, and their mass-like schemes are gauge independent, then it will be also true in the momentum subtraction scheme, but in the Landau gauge. In principle, this is quite understandable, but I will not discuss. Uh, there are do uh, do exist understanding why Landau scheme here is uh, special, but I will not discuss this in this uh, uh, um, um, work. And also I would like to mention the recent work by Chipirkin, where at the alpha S fourth level, he again uh, just demonstrated uh, the validity of this factorization property in the some special QCD like scheme the QCD like um, uh, model where quarks uh, and gluons are in different representation. This model, this is of course, has nothing to do with QCD from the phenological point of view, but this model, um, it keeps all um, features of renormalizations, uh, uh, realizations in QCD. So he, uh, also uh, um, got this fact, uh, fact. Please note that in these two, in this relation, there do exist coefficients, explicit NF, uh, TF, NF dependence. Then next point is that was done, next stage was done in our work with, uh, uh, works with Michal. We have noticed and we have shown uh, that it is possible to absorb all uh, NF dependence from the polynomials in the uh, factor, conformal symmetry B or breaking factor to the um, powers of the beta functions. And uh, we have sh shown this first at the three loop level, uh, just so in the system of equations uh, uh, um, and then have shown this also 
at the in the MS light schemes at the um, for loop level after uh, we learned the results of the calculations of the D function uh, and uh, 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 and Bjorken polarized sum rule, which were done in the paper of Baikov, Chetirkin, and Kuhn, uh, uh, in, in up to RFS fourth level. Uh, we do not know what is happening uh, uh, further on, but in principle, we may make the guess that it, uh, it may be also true in the higher order level and. Just the idea why this may happen um, uh, is coming also in uh, diagrammatic language in uh, quantum electrodynamics. We may consider a VV triangle diagram, and instead of uh, 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 so called Renormalon bubbles, instead of simple photon uh, 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 um, lepton loops, uh, put there one particle reducible. Uh, di uh, diagrams for the vacuum polarization contribution p, uh, uh, which is gives us the beta function in uh, QED. It is uh, unfortunately I have no chance to draw these diagrams, but this is just uh, difficult to prove. But this uh, this gives uh, some idea why this uh, feature may uh, hold in. Uh, high order levels for that. for the conformal symmetry breaking factor in this um, either generalized uh, crew relation or some people are calling this uh, as a, a CBK relation. Okay, then next day, uh, uh, slide. Uh, the next slide, then the question appeared. The next question appeared e the, that, okay, if this quantum, if this feature is true for that. Product of the D function and Bjorkin sum rule, whether the similar expression can be written for the D function and uh, Bjorkin plus sum rule separately. And this was started by us with Goris Svetich, just using the same idea, considering the results of analytical calculations and solving the system of equations. Uh, on monomials or in color factors, we have shown that in it is possible to write down this expression, uh, this expression in the following form. These expressions do not contain an F dependence. And by the way, the similar property will be true also for the Bjorken polarized sum rule. And if we will multiply one uh, uh, quantity to another quantity, this polynomial D0M, M is the uh, uh, number of uh, um, coefficients uh, of powers in alpha s will uh, just uh, cancel uh, the same coefficient c uh, zero m alpha s like plus alpha s pi is was canceling minus alpha s pi uh, for the uh, standard expressions for the d function uh, due to the property of the uh, conformal symmetry. Uh, uh, NF dependence, in fact, in one uh, uh, also uh, is appearing uh, in what uh, some uh, light by light contribution should be uh, absorbed here, and we are observing it here, uh, st starting from a, a for loop level, just to have the smooth transition to the QED limit. And this reflects the Especially this term reflects the unanormalizable effect of the light by light type contribution to the vacuum polarization insertion. Um, so this representation was written down, and the next step uh, was done also uh, um, uh, by in our paper with uh, Victor Malkayedov and Garkusha. Uh, we have uh, also started the relation of the D function of the uh, of this relation of the ex this expansion uh, to the proposed in 07 uh, so called beta expansion, which was proposed by Sergei Mikhailov. Uh, and in some sense, this 
was proposed to think about the possibility of the to how to generalize the so-called Grosky, Lepage, Mackenzie approach beyond the leading order. Uh, um, but it is interesting, maybe interesting also somehow by, by itself in order to study some interesting features. So uh, if we will just uh, from these expansions using their res uh, these results, because these results are reproduced and these coefficients can be and are extracted, I will show, uh, show on the next slide um, uh, in analytical form, we may ex ex go further on and then we may then fix uh, eight from 12 contributions and we are unable to fix, of course, this term and the term proportional to beta zero, beta, beta zero square and beta zero in the third power. All other coefficients uh, maybe obtained uh, from this expression and they are uh, these expression they may be obtained from these relations and another interesting feature that these relations these relations and it was noticed later on they are very similar to the relations written down by uh, Brodsky um, Majaza and who some time ago, when they were thinking about generalizing, about constructing this beta, expan this beta expansion using so called R delta uh, uh, scheme. Uh, or more definitely, they were simply solving the, um, um, uh, they were simply solving the expression for the beta function in the higher order levels and got very similar uh, got uh, their normalization of alpha and very similar uh, oh, uh, expressions as well um, uh, in fact we were not we do we, previously we were we didn't understand this analogy with again how but this analogy really do exist now about the some analytical results these are results from our papers with Gore Sledge, which were checked independently by us, uh, uh, Victor Molkayedov, as well. And uh, these are the numbers up to four loop level. But one interesting point do exist also, because there is there was the variant, the idea how to extract the expression for the d3 coefficient uh, and this is not written in our paper this is just i'm discussing here uh, this in the in this talk uh, how to extra extract this coefficient in our work with uh, sergey Mikhailov using the model of some model of light glue you know? and we got uh, another result for the d3 coefficient and it's especially we may be interested in this expression. Uh, um, quite recently, uh, while having a look on the well-known paper of uh, uh, Banneke, uh, uh, Ball, and Brown on the Renner Malone's uh, contributions to the Tau decay, I found out that the class of the diagrams which are given to the D3 O0 were presented there analytically calculated uh, just as the example they were not using it but it is interesting that these results do not coincide with this expression but coincide with the result which was obtained by us with the uh, in the paper uh, with uh, um, uh, sergey mikhail using the light blue uh, model uh, QCD plus light linear model. Why this feature is happening, we still do not know. But this may mean uh, it is necessary yet to check and to understand better that what we are presenting here is is really the representation. It uh, it may be possible that these coefficients, uh, these coefficients higher order, these coefficients maybe extracted from the diagrams, but these higher order coefficients 
we still do not know whether they have, there are still questions, whether they have uh, uh, diagram, uh, uh, famous diagrammatic correspondence, in spite of the fact that everything is written down in the mass light scheme. So, uh, then next slide. Another point is that interesting feature that these D4 coefficients, uh, uh, while analytically, and D2, 0, D3, 0, D, D4, 0 coefficients, they are numerical expressions. Uh, uh, were previously obtained using another uh, technique uh, when uh, um, 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 uh, when not uh, when we were thinking not about beta zero expansion uh, 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 beta expansion but at large enough expansion uh, and it was done in our paper with George Grant at the next next to the leading order level first. And then generalized in Broski Wu in, in, in 1912 to higher orders, and they got their numerical expressions for these four coefficients just in agreement with the results of these are better expansions. Um, I think that it is possible to understand this because these coefficients, in fact, are uh, uh, Broska is calling it conformal, but it is more better to say that they are scale invariant, um, but not conformal invariant, because conformal symmetry here is appearing only when we are multiplying, when we are considering triangle diagram, or when we are multiplying D to uh, Bjorken polarized subroute to the D function. Uh, when we are considering separately this quantity, there is no conformal symmetry. But they do exist, uh, the part of the conformal group uh, symmetry, uh, uh, um, scale, uh, uh, scale invariance. Okay, next point is that, uh, uh, okay, sorry. Then one more point that let us now consider, I will first show the uh, results for the static potential. These results, the results for the static potential, were evaluated analytically up to, in the MS bar scheme, up to alpha as third level. And in principle, it is possible we, we decided to uh, write down the similar expression for the renormalization group invariant quantity, separate renormalization group, different renormalization group quantity, which is not entering in the AVV triangle diagram, just to think and to play the game and received some uh, similar expressions as for the D function and also got analytical results which are in agreement with the almost in agreement with the ones which were given in the broski majazovu paper, a part of the probably some uh, uh, there not mistakes, but uh, shortcomings or um, I think that, uh, um, they didn't calculate correctly, and they uh, also um, uh, also the difference is that they do not understand uh, properly how to separate uh, uh, how to put in this a three zero term light by light diagram. They have separated only this term, but this term they do didn't include this term in the analysis. Uh, but it should be included, of course, because of the similar feature uh, of the possibility to, um, to have a smooth limit, smooth transformation to the um, quantum electron dynamic limit, because the idea should work in quantum dynamics uh, um, mm, mm when we are putting CF equal to one and CA equal to zero uh, and DA, uh, ABCD equal to zero and DF equal to one, we are getting simply uh, the smooth quantum electrodynamic uh, limit and all results and all ideas should uh, be the same. Okay, then after getting this, we had a look on the results for the obtained for the cusp anomalous dimension. 
In fact, in the uh, already uh, in the paper of Grozin, Hank, Karczemski, and Mercat, when considering Caspar Namela's dimension, and uh, Caspar Namela's dimension, the definition of the Caspar Namela's dimension is written down here. Unfortunately, it is not clearly seen. It is it uh, uh, simply comes from the closed Wilson loop on the special contour uh, 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 um, uh, with the um, uh, um, where phi is the angle and v1 and v2 are the vertices. So this uh, 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 and uh, in fact it is possible to at the three loop level to separate from the Caspar-Namela's dimension. Uh, very similar uh, to uh, uh, um, um, static potential uh, quantity V cusp. And if we will com uh, compare uh, use the results of these three groups and also the results uh, obtained by uh, um, uh, Grozin um, uh, 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 separately, um, we may get the following interesting feature, we are getting again the first, the factorization of the beta function here. And then it is possible even to observe the factorization of an analog of the multiple beta expansion with the following coefficients. Uh, but here we are considering not product, but uh, difference of uh, VCAS and uh, static potential. The, feature of the uh, constellations of the um, conformal coefficients, conformal sim, uh, uh, um, the, uh, the feature of the manifestation of the conformal symmetry breaking fact here is not yet clear to us, but it do exist. And it, it can be seen here uh, very definitely at the uh, not only at the uh, 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 here beta zero uh, one loop level, but in uh, you see here the appearance of beta zero, beta one, beta zero square factor, and so on, so on, with analytical numbers evaluated in the MS bar scheme. And uh, hopefully, we, we may think on uh, uh, trying to play. Uh, 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 trying to check some of the diagrams also in the higher order levels on the uh, how they are canceling out. But what is beyond these constellations? We still do not know, again, because we do not know how uh, uh, there is no analogy with the AVV triangle diagram here. It may be, uh, we were discussing this fa fact uh, once upon a time with Andre Grozny, but he presented his some hand waving arguments, but not proofs that they uh, on the no. Okay, next point is that uh, the question is okay. Here we have some factorization of the beta function while considering. Difference of Caspar Namela's dimension separately and uh, static potential. Then let us have a look on the another quantity which have no, it's uh, okay, a generalized cruiser counterpart. Uh, so called, uh, it is not called uh, uh, Bjorken. Unpolarized some rule need, uh, which corresponds to neutrino nucleon uh, scattering, uh, deep elastic scattering. In fact, Bjorken, uh, sorry, Bjorken uh, proposed this, first proposed this, derived this rule, uh, some rule, and then derived Bjorken polarized some rule. Uh, and he, this is the interesting uh, feature, and we, when he deriving his uh, Bjorken polarized some rule, he even was not thinking that it will be used in phenomenology, extracted, uh, but it was extracted. For the case of Bjorken unpolarized sum rule, in principle, it was it is possible also to extract it, but people are not extracting it because of the fact that they are not extracting the information about F 
one uh, structure function of the neutrino uh, uh, proton scattering and nucleon scattering, but they prefer to fix it and to extract F2 and F3 from the cross sections. Uh, but in principle, it is possible to think that uh, um, uh, there was some discussion with experiments whether it is possible to do this in future or previously, but okay, at present it is simply the rather technical fact. The results of the calculations uh, at the alpha square and the alpha S4 level was known from the results of Chitikin, Garishny, Lion, Kachov, and Lion, Kachov, and Vermasin. Analytical results, they're here. And it is also interesting that, uh, uh, and we decided to have a look whether it is possible to write down the similar representation. And it turned out that it is possible uh, fixing this number using the game. And also, even it is possible in SU3 theory uh, to do the same, to determine these numbers using the unpublished results of Baikov, Chitirkin, and Kuhn, uh, which were presented by Konstantin Chitirkin at the conference uh, Calculations for Modern and Future Collider at Dubna. Unfortunately, it is not uh, published. And also, it is not uh, uh, um, expressed. Uh, uh, it is uh, it's analog in um, uh, SU and C uh, general case is not known. Maybe it is will be possible to get it. I don't know. We didn't yet discuss it, the, about this with Konstantin Chaturkin. Uh, but in SU3, we may get this representation and. Uh, this is the, in uh, some sense, the conclusion. Uh, the conclusion of the talk is the following. So the uh, CBK relation for the Adler function and polarized by, by uh, some rules, the ideas are reminded. And in fact, it seems to me that uh, and, uh, the, uh, the, this relation uh, in the math-like scheme do exist and it shows the explicit form of the conformal symmetry breaking term uh, where, uh, uh, for when, uh, when uh, D function and Bjorken polarized some rule um, are multiplied. And the understanding why this um, conformal symmetry breaking term is appearing may be understood from the um, consideration of the AVV diagram, but unfortunately, I will repeat again the very detailed and very explicit uh, proof of, uh, uh, of this vectorization um, is still absent, uh, but there do exist very strong uh, theoretical indications uh, due to the X space work of Rod Kruger. Then uh, the interesting fact is that uh, the similar uh, 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 type of the relation do exist while com uh, comparing uh, also um, uh, static potential and uh, the um, Casper MLS dimension analytical expressions, but at the low order level up to, uh, I, I guess the, uh, this is not now at the three loop level, uh, some calculations to Casper MLS dimension at the four loop level do are uh, now in progress, but I don't know anything about the calculations of the higher order corrections to the static potential from the phenological, probably because from the phenological point of view, this is not so interesting. Then also we have discussed the analogy of the bit expansion uh, 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 proposed by Mikhailov and, and constructed out with analogy of the bit expansion proposed by Brodsky, Wu, and Majaza. And if previously we were doubting, now we have some understanding how it may help uh, thanks to these new uh, representation which we have written down for the D function and your uh, um, um, can some rule and other quantities. But from the phenological point of view, they're just also playing with so-called principle of maximal conformality. They are still, we do not want yet to use this because there do exist, we, we, we know uh, 
uh, the place where these people still do not agree with us and we have counter arguments uh, but hopefully soon the results will be also result from the literature and also rather interesting feature that to at least to us to me maybe this is observation that this represent uh, this uh, new representation with when we are separating the um, uh, powers of the not uh, it, okay, when we are coming, but, but I will say another word, when we are coming from the large bit not expansion, uh, which was popular and, uh, uh, and used at present in the era when people were studying uh, uh, infrared and ultraviolet Renormalon technique, Renormalon language, when we are coming from this large bit not expansion to the expansions in beta alpha s divided by alpha s we may just uh, get some representations for already um, uh, evaluated results what is beyond this representation we still do not know uh, this is still the fact and uh, the interesting feature of this representation that we may it may really help to fix in the ms life schemes some higher order terms of the beta expansion or in the higher order terms eight from 12 okay or seven from 12 because one term is fixed uh, using our calculations with david broders our considerations with david broders from uh uh, uh normal uh, infrared uh, renormal studies that is uh, thank you very much and that is all for the moment I think that at present we have done this work and there are open, at least for us, some interesting points to think about this and uh, mm, yeah, questions or comments, criticism is welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Talk. Uh, we have time for some questions. One discussion is for but you have to come here, otherwise the audience, the Zoom audience will not hear your question. Andre, did you try to consider uh, other uh, RG invariant quantities, maybe in some lower orders, in order to see if such kind of expansion are valid for them? Okay. Maybe instead of... Uh, just to calculate uh, higher orders and so on. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Thank you for uh, uh, question. In fact, uh, in in the paper, uh, some understanding of some attempt was done for the relation of the pole clock mass to the running clock mass. And previously, it was calculated in the paper by Van Rydbergen and Melnikov at the three loop level. Now it is known as the four loop level, but then when they were calculated this at the three loop level, they observed the feature of the, uh, that large beta naught expansion is not enough. It, is necess it was necessary to introduce some scale invariant factor and beta one factor. Now, using some other words and also understanding uh, for the quantities not only a randomization group invariant but which are containing uh, an mls mass dimension we are able also to fix this number and to uh, uh, understand this it may be possible that in this case the similar feature may also demonstrate itself and another point is that uh, Unfortunately, uh, another point, of course, it, it may be interesting to, uh, and this was done in our, this proposal was done in our work with Sergei Mikhailov, um, uh, to think about beta expansion for the uh, um, quantities uh, which obey uh, renormalization group equation with an MLS dimension, with a mass and MLS dimension. Okay. We may rely on the fact that 
but this is the hand waving again argument that one plus gamma m from alpha s m six c plus beta alpha s divided by alpha s that is is coming into the uh, renormalization of element. But when, if we will consider, say, deep in uh, moments of deep elastic scale, or um, uh, gamma uh, uh, total decay width of Higgs boson to say to be a bar uh, to quark and to quark pairs, where mass so the anomalous dimension do exist, we still do not know. But uh, okay, uh, this is uh, the mass uh, can, can, yeah, can destroy. Yeah, yeah. So this, then, this then uh, okay. the possibility of thinking about this do exist in our mind. Thank you for a good question. Okay. Uh, we have uh, only one additional question. Yes, Vladimir uh, Petrov. Yes, Andrei, thank you very much for your very nice presentation with so many involved results. And uh, I want to ask you about some. Uh, so to say principle, people say that principle, I have seen just uh, in the use of uh, undoubtedly also know that so-called the principle of minimal sensitivity, what is that? And what could you say about it? Ah, principle of minimal, okay. Uh, you're, you're asking me about principle of minimal sensitivity or principle of maximum conformality. It is the same, I think, no? No. This is not the same. Principle of minimal sensitivity was proposed uh, by Stevenson uh, some time ago, and it was used to fix some special uh, scheme depend uh, uh, some special uh, beta functions, and it is very similar to the effective charges approach. Principle of maximal conformality, which is proposed, which is discussed by. Uh, mm, Conformality here, I think this is a more for as a slang. Uh, it is just the generalization of the BLM approach. Uh, also, uh, there are some procedure very similar of fixing some special prescription. Of course, previously, people are all authors who invent their own procedures think that their procedures are better. Since uh, when Stevenson uh, proposed his approach, he told, okay, use my approach only. Uh, uh, Granberg uh, uh, um, effective charges proposed, also was proposing to use only his approach. Just the same, the principle of maximum conformality. But of course, they are theoretically all valid, uh, uh, or uh, maybe you, because a mass bar scheme, generally speaking, is not the on shell scheme, and it's also theoretical some sense invention. But in the case of the MS bar scheme, there do exist some unsolved, unwritten agreement of the analysis of, uh, of the quantities with of experimentalists and uh, uh, theoreticians. Uh, here, people are the theoretics, may play this game and compare how the curves we, we, we may, uh, how the results for the uh, physical quantities in the higher order level will uh, manifest itself. And maybe this may be comparing one result with another result. We may see the real, uh, the real um, theoretical uncertainty, which is increasing, of course, in the lower energy level. So this is the answer. And concerning the relations of PM principle of maximal conformality and PMS, this is another story, but I will not comment uh, here because I still uh, have uh, uh, this relation of these two methods uh, in mind. Uh, and it is not yet uh, uh, um, discussed published. And it is more related, I will just announce with some considerations which were done um, yeah, with uh, Ivan Garichuk, uh, when we were thinking about existing of subgroups uh, um, uh, of renormalization groups, renormalization group uh, in n equal to one supersymmetric 
QCD while considering uh, the existence of the uh, the the class of schemes uh, generalization schemes which gives us uh, NSZ relations now of shipping machines as a higher correlation and n equal to one supersymmetric QCD. The ideas and analogy with QCD do exist, but it is in, a, uh, uh, in, in the mind. Sorry, <laughs> I cannot uh, tell yet. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Andrei. Okay, let us present it again. And we move to the next talk. Uh, 